Guns up. I got my funds up. All right. <laughs> All right. So Jack for here got us at uh, Harris Teeter. Let me pull this up. So it's been shot off. Got this at Harris Teeter. Uh, never really heard of this fruit. This is from the Jackfruit Company, and the fruit name is Jackfruit. And I'm trying to get Jack, so you know it makes sense that you would eat Jackfruit to get Jack, right? Tropically sweet, ripe jackfruit is what it says on the package here. Again, got it from Harris Teeter in the frozen section with all around all the other uh, fruits there. Excellent source of vitamin E. Antioxidant is what it said. Uh, perfect for us, whatever. It's non-GMO verified. I showed y'all the macros a little bit earlier. Just wanted to show y'all just the front, but this is what it looks like. I guess, you know, completely out in nature. And they're called bulbs because on the nutrition it says the uh, serving is seven bulbs or 140 grams. Uh, I'm just doing a serving of 68 grams. Uh, frozen, I've let them thaw out for a little bit while I was eating my uh, other part of my meal. Uh, but as you can see there, it looks pretty wild. So I may come back at the end and read this on the back if y'all want to hear that. Don't want to bore y'all with this yet. If you just want to, you know, watch the video, see if it's good or bad, and then leave. So I'll just get right down to it first, working on another YouTube video here uh, as I eat. Anyway, here's what it's looking like. They're kind of like a, let me move the camera down. They kind of come in, they're called like they're bulbs, and it kind of comes in like, looks like they're supposed to be normally like circles like this, where you could see through it, but they're split open. See like this one's really big compared to the other ones and it's it's split but it was originally together like this and that's how it originally would look and like you could look down in there but for some reason they're kind of split open uh, I'm gonna grab a thumbnail really fast I need a napkin too uh, <laughs> very uh slimy there very slimy texture could have a, a, you know, in part to do with the fact that I just thought them out. All right, let me get a thumbnail first. Should have left my fingers sticky for that. All right, so here we go. Hopefully the thumbnail came out good. First off, <laughs> I'm going to be honest with y'all, this smells, hold on, let me get this camera right. This smells like some stain stain, if you know what I mean. Some, uh, you ever heard the Afro Man song? There's this blind man, right? Walking down the street. And the, uh, that one doesn't smell quite as bad. He walked past a fish market and he stopped and took his breath. He said, Ooh, good morning, ladies. Quoting a song there, so. But that's honestly kind of what it smells like. Some stank stank. Some nasty, some nastiness. Like uh, you've been running in the gym, sweating going on. But there's a small hint of Kind of maybe a pineapple or something in there. A very very hint under that nasty smell is a very very faint uh, fruity smell. There, like I said, maybe a pineapple or something. All right, I'm gonna go with the smallest one first. Here we go. 
so I can get a close up on this texture for y'all. Very slimy. Quite thin that one is though. This was the big, the big one. I said pretty, pretty slimy for the texture there. So now you got the smell, you got the texture. Now, for the main thing, what's it taste like? So, slide y'all back on my tripod. All right, here we go. Real time, live, but not really live for me. I'm just gonna do it. See, I like pulled apart. Smell disgusting. Got a choke on this light. I won't be nasty and say all my food, but I need to say all this because it's like bubble gum or something. Like I'm, you know, when you do a blow a bubble, how you spread it across your tongue and then blow. what it feels like it's doing I'm trying to swallow it but it's not coming apart it's like I'm swallowing the back piece and the front piece to there give me a second so that's weird like it doesn't chew or that piece didn't at least now the first thing you taste is that you don't taste that nasty smell you taste that very hint of a uh, the fruity smell I told you about. That is weird though. I don't know if this is gonna pick up. Can you see that? It's like it's like a web. That is wild. I have to focus my camera in. That's that's why it's like not chewing. Honestly though. After taste isn't that really pleasant. Uh, the main taste really isn't. It's not very strong, honestly. It's, let's see if I can this with focus. Come on, baby. All right, let me get a fresh piece. Hold on. Okay, that tastes nasty going in. Really does. Here we go. Oh, this one is showing it good. That wasn't a good one. Here we go. Take two. There we go. I'll see that. They're like web, like a spider web or something. It's really weird. Making a mess. I know that much. I'm gonna finish up these with, if I get my camera all sticky too. With my spoon. It's really weird. How it's not chewing. Like it almost makes me wanna keep like choking while I'm trying to swallow it. Cause like I said, it's not cute. But chew something normally you chew that piece and swallow it it's like you either swallow the whole thing or you don't swallow it at all okay it stinks bad now this out here i don't smell it but it's like on my hands like crazy so if you do eat this honestly i don't even know if i'd recommend honestly this the taste isn't that great honestly Nutrition's through the roof though. No vitamin A, no vitamin C, calcium 8%, 4% iron, 13% potassium, magnesium 8%, vitamin E 25%, manganese 35%. Well, not through, through the roof, through the roof, but you know, vitamin E and manganese, that's not very, very common, I don't think. Yeah, let me finish this off and then wrap it up with the final thoughts. I'm gonna eat it for the nutrition. It's not so bad, like I can't eat it, but I would just say it's not joyous. All right, everybody, a little update. 
on the jackfruit here. I've been continuing to eat it, you know, to finish off the bag. But what I'm doing instead, instead of let it thaw out like 30 minutes or 40 minutes, however long I let it thaw out in this video you're watching, I just let it thaw out like five minutes where it's still basically frozen, but it's not frozen enough to eat. And it, I mean, it kind of dampens the whole taste. It doesn't smell, but I'm just eating it super quick and that's another way if you want to do it just to get the nutrition in where it doesn't really uh, it doesn't taste bad at near as bad as what I'm noticing it really doesn't taste like much of anything but when it's kind of still frozen a lot like that and it doesn't take long at all to thaw um, it's not slimy and the taste is a lot better but again it kind of dampens it as well but just a lot more enjoyable way than letting it thaw out and eating it doing it like that all right I'm not gonna finish it up. I mean, I'm gonna finish it, but not for the video. You don't need to sit here and see me keep chewing. Um, honestly, does not get the KG stamp of approval. Uh, I wouldn't get this again, honestly. I'm not gonna get it again. But you know, I tried it. You gotta try things. I wouldn't recommend this, honestly. I mean, I'm sure. I don't know. I mean, I eat all other kinds of fruit, like almost every other fruit you can think of I um, eat on the daily I'm sure it has close to or you know I'm getting these nutrients in the other ones other fruits I could be wrong like on the vitamin E and the manganese I'm not 100% sure um, maybe something I'll look into for other fruits you know look at the nutrition normally the fruits I get that doesn't have that much of a breakdown on the back of how many like the manganese uh, and the vitamin E, the magnesium, you know, in the, in the fruits, you know, just has like the vitamin A, C, iron, and calcium, like the normal nutrition label. But like I said, it was cool, looked cool, something different. Maybe throw it in a smoothie or something and kind of drown it out with other things and to just get the nutritional value out of it. Again, though, I wouldn't recommend it, uh, but I mean, Everybody's taste buds are different. And if you just want to give it a try to try it, give it a try. But don't uh don't be expecting too much. Like I said, stinks initially. Like what I told you about, some stink stink. And then the the taste is very mild and quite kind of nasty a little bit there too, the more I eat it. So can't put my I'm telling you, I can't, can't quite put my finger on. I put my tongue on it, but I can't put my finger on it. But I don't put my fingers on it. What fruit that kind of tastes like. I keep wanting to say pineapple, but I don't know if I'm, I don't know if that's right. It says it's a tropical, tropically sweet. All right, I'll read y'all the bat really quick again. I already gave y'all what I thought. Stinks with a very small hint of, uh, you know, kind of like a sweet fruity smell, very mild. And then the taste is a very, that very mild uh, fruity scent. And I kind of did get a little bit of that nastiness there, a couple bites. I'll read y'all the back here, in case y'all are interested. That's gonna be it for the video. Ripe jackfruit bursts with tropical flavor and nutrients. Jackfruit tastes like a blend of mango, pineapple, and banana and is packed with antioxidant vitamin E, potassium fiber, and manganese. Jackfruit is the world's largest tree-born fruit, sometimes weighing over 100 pounds, native to India. That's massive, holy crap. 100 pound jackfruit. This ancient crop, now rediscovered, can't wait to join your smoothie and baking recipes, adding tropical delight to your daily routine. Since 2011, our company has been building ethical and sustainable jackfruit supply chains to introduce this wonderful fruit to the world. This wonder fruit to the world, excuse me. We partner directly with growers in India and Vietnam to harvest the highest quality jackfruits and support farmers' livelihoods. All right, uh, I guess that's an accurate description of the mix, but I mean, the taste is so mild. It's not like when you bite into a banana, you know, a good, it says this is ripe jackfruit. You bite into a nice ripe banana, you get that flavor like that, and it's a strong, good, you know, a strong flavor. Same thing with the mangoes and pineapples as well. I've been eating uh, pineapple, pineapples here recently with a big blend. Man, I love them things. I didn't think I really liked them, but in that blend, I was loving them. So, maybe some of them, but not really. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Stab, stay healthy.
Go make y'all some games. See y'all in the next one. Peace out. Hope this helped. Peace out. And shout out to everybody who's been subscribing. If you do subscribe, I gained like, I believe now 18 or 19 subscribers in the past month. If you do subscribe, comment down below. Let me know why you subscribe. That way I can make more videos like that. Or was it something, you know what I'm saying? My personality, was it the muscle? What, I mean, what was it that you like that made you join the channel? That way I can better serve you, basically. That's what it's all about. Uh, you know, experimenting, doing things, learning things, and sharing them with y'all so y'all can profit without having to spend the time. Like, you don't have to go to the grocery store, spend your money, and try it, and smell that stankness. You can just watch this video in the comfort of your home or something, you know what I'm saying? See y'all next one. Peace out.